Hi guys, it's Steve from Subbase Academy here. In this video, I'll be showing you how we can make our own sample selector racks in Ableton. This technique can really help speed up your workflow when it comes to selecting the right drum hits to use in your tracks. The first thing I'm going to do is get a drum rack and I'll just pull that onto a MIDI track here. And then we want to get a kick sample. So I'll just go into my sample library and pull one into the first slot just there. Now that will create a simpler. So after that we right click on that simpler and select group and that creates an instrument rack within the drum rack here. Now we want to pull in all the kicks which we want to cycle through. So I'm going to select say 20 kicks from here and drag those into the instrument rack. And as you can see that creates an instance on each chain. So after that we open up the chain select editor and then we want to select all the samples so command A and then we want to pull this right over to 127 and then after that we want to right click just around there and select distribute ranges equally and that splits up the samples there so they'll play on their own when we move the ruler here so from here we want to right click on the ruler and map to macro one and that will come up chain selector here so we can move that around as you can see that's moving when I move the macro cycling through the different samples so after that we want to map again to macro one on the drum rack and we can right click there to rename that kick. So just to test this out, we can go up to the MIDI track and insert a MIDI clip and we'll just enter a simple 4-4 drum pattern. So if we play that now, we can now cycle through all the different kick drums which, is, which we selected. And if you repeat that process, you can do that with, with any sort of percussion or sample. Um, for instance, you could have the second mac macro set up for claps um hats toms any other percussion you, you like and uh, and then you could save that rack and use it in future projects i hope that was helpful thanks for joining me and make sure you check back for more tips and tricks if you want to get deeper into ableton and music production you can book a live one-to-one -one with me via the subbase website or subscribe to a subbase online subscription for loads of tutorial courses